Food production and security policy in the era of climate change and peak oil usage, the Western Sahel and China debate, Introduction to Sociology 1010 course, Fall 2011, Slideshow. We can feed ourselves. This week we continue our discussion focusing on local food sustainability in the era of climate change and peak oil usage. The 50 plus year industrial agricultural model is ecologically destructive and unsustainable. Can we shift from industrial agriculture to organic agriculture? That is more climate friendly and climate resilient way of producing our food and without sacrificing total food output? We explore this question by examining two case studies, the Western Sahel region in Africa and China. Students were organized into debate teams. Their task, Students were assigned to teams and tasks with the responsibility of presenting their country and or regional food production and security policy in the era of climate change and peak oil usage. The remaining students were assigned to the observer judges panel and were tasked with the responsibility of developing a series of questions to be asked of each team. Rules of engagement. Each side has 30 seconds to present their food production policy. Judges will ask the first round of questions. Each side has 60 seconds to respond. Judges and the opposing side can ask follow-up questions. Each side has 60 seconds to respond. Subsequently, a second round of questions will be asked. The intensity could be cut with a knife. Students debated for 50 minutes until becoming exhausted. Students exhibit their analytical and oral skills. Uh, standards of what like needs to go into the foods and everything and make sure it is by our uh, standards healthy uh, do we eat and proper food to eat um, but we take all responsibility for our actions and everything that we produce so if you were to die by a GMO I'm not saying you would in an unfortunate case uh, we probably would have to reimburse your family but the likelihood of that happening is like slim to none, sir. Slim to none. <laughs> has that ever happened? Has that ever happened before? Not, not by my record, not, uh, my knowledge, and not my is it is it true that you stuff chicken so close together? That's the end of your. That's the <laughs> end, end, end of the questions. Side. So you mean, yeah, side. You mean to tell me that when it gets like 110 degrees outside, which I know it does. Is that, that stuff's not going to dry out? It's not going to... No, it's not going to dry out. It's been working. Yeah, it's been working, though. What if it stops? It's not. It's not a bunch of what if. Yeah, what if you're trying to explode? That's what I'm saying. What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? China, you had a question. Hold on. China had a question. Between 30 and 30. We asked if we got a they in a drought. That's why you use that. Because they in a drought. So how are they going to ask them, what is 2030? They in a drought. What is 2030? We still here. Y'all are eating good. We here. Question. Observers have a question. What happens in 2030? 2030 is when, like, basically, all these... Basically, basically, by 2030, all they food, like... Like how they, they necessities basically for their basic food products is gonna be through. Who came up with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. one of they, 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 they yeah, yeah. Scientists said about food that it increased by fourteen, twenty three percent. Said scientists said that their food supplies, like all their food supplies, decreasing from fourteen to twenty three percent. I forgot scientists predicted that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, but that's not all scientists are right. Man, mom. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Mr. Evans. The dude name was Richard Evans, though. Okay. He, he, um, he's a fortune teller. China, <laughs> China, would you like to respond? Yeah. What he said. What he's saying about twenty thirty is basically that. What some scientists said that this would be the year that pretty much uh, people run out of food. Well, the problem with that is That's not what he said. The problem with that is um, science, like scientists, they have too many variables to be able to determine right now what's going to happen in 2030, which is like 20 or 19 years away. And how? 
19 years away, and how do, and they have no way of actually determining, well, they can't even determine what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. How are they going to determine something like food and population growth and carbon emissions based on a rate that's going now, which it, we're trying to dec decline and decrease in, in 19 years? He said, our food supply is going down every year for, I don't remember how many years it was, but a couple of years, the food supply has been going down every year. Yeah, it keeps like, decreasing. It's been yeah, basically, it's, but it's, don't, don't a look, steady decline. Better. I think the prediction was just going by, like, the yeah. rate, like, the rate that you're right going down. Down. That's what I'm trying to say. Silence. Y'all just go, silence. Wait, switch off. You try to determine something. Oh, folks, 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 folks. Hold on, hold on. Let us. Silence. Folks. We're trying to determine something based on a rate of what's happening now, even though that rate's been changing based on because people are like, oh, we don't want this to happen. I know y'all so, ain't done nothing. They can't keep bringing up 2030 because, like, you don't know if it's stuff gonna change by the end. Like, you, you don't know what's but about to happen. But they talk about like, it's been a steady decline for years. Okay, but you don't know if it's about to change. It's like, it's science that's working, so they don't know. It's change. It's not change. Do you guys have enough food or producing enough food to feed your population? So far, where the practices have been used, the food has been distributed equally, I guess. But some farmers are able to support the family, but the practice of organic farming, the knowledge is being like given to many others. Well, yes, we did sign it. And we're working on this have Think before you respond, caucus real quick, right, to think about perhaps why you're not following the, the, the actual can't meet the standards. Um, we are. Wait, caucus first. Caucus first. Um, we are. They have Can I answer the question to the, to the judges tonight? Yes, we wait, did wait, sign. Wait, wait for them, wait for them, wait for them. They have a response. <laughs> yes, we did sign, but we are not actually following it because of our large industrial population. Um, regardless of our large industrial population, so why would you sign if you're not going to abide by the rules? Y'all not abide by it because y'all still using pesticides, and the machines that y'all use for your crops are increasing our gas emissions. So y'all basically just signing it just to say y'all did it, to make y'all look good. But, but by us signing it, do you think that we can I mean, start to follow it? If we didn't sign it, we didn't sign it, that means that we don't want to at all. We signed it, which means that it'll probably take time for us to do it, but we are eventually going to do it. So. Yeah, signing it means that you're going to go, you're going to uh, You have a question? Follow-up question? But, uh, okay, so it seems okay. like basically, it seems like you guys basically have a lot of empty promises. Throughout the whole debate, you've been here, we're trying, we're Okay, but I don't know the way you like it. Oh, 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 like every question we are asking you guys, it's like your responses. We're trying, we're going to get your population. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, we understand. But when is change occurring? When will change occur? Is when are you guys going to actually make promises to take these actions? You guys are making all these promises that you're trying, you're going to, but when is these. When are we going to see? Can we talk about it? Once again, where are the steps being taken? Okay, okay. We all came up with the same thing because we discussed it previously before. Out of this whole debate, every question that has been given to you guys, the West Sahara, West Sahara, whatever you guys are called, you guys have not answered any question. You have beat it around a bush, and then you found your way to attack us with questions, and we have found stop. the thoughts. Stop, stop, You get our point. Stop, stop. Yes, observer and judges, yes. Tevin, listen to the, what's the observer? Yes, Tevin. Uh, she said, Tevin, not you. Oh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> no problem. You said you signed the, the, the agreement, right? Yes. Why didn't you immediately like follow the rules? We just said it because of our large industrial. Well, I'm going to say it's because of our large Why didn't you wait to sign it? <laughs> because if we waited to sign it, people would attack us, thinking it's like people are attacking me now. Huh? No. No. Okay, but we signed it, which means that we are eventually going to follow you that. But because of our large industrial population, we can't do it. Time out. Time out. Observers? I was going to say, 
I can't agree with them because like they doing that. They doing it just to make them. I believe they doing it just to make them look good. They're worried about being in the public eye. What? With the so it's like, okay. Stop. Is it, I guess the debate's over because the observer has already made a made a judgment. Okay, you've already made you made a you already made a judgment, right? Okay. Quick, quick question. Quick, wait, wait, quick. We uh, can't. The judges made their final decision. Okay, you're on. I feel like both of the groups did very good. Yeah. Even though one of the groups, they, they had a lot of information, but it felt like they kept going on and on. Yeah. And they, they wasn't like getting down to the question as quick as they should have. So. Yeah, it's like the Western Sahara or whatever they were. They had good information, but then again, China always had a comeback. It seemed like they always like knew, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm, can we do 50 50? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. 50 50 with both. 50 50. Thank you. Thank you to all my sociology students. I am so proud of you, my wild seed children. <laughs>